In this video, you are going to learn how to install the updated version of the DEX arbitrage bus. To install the DEX arbitrage bus, you have to navigate to the directory of the DEX arbitrage bus. I am going to use my local computer to demonstrate, but in your case, your own is going to be inside the server, so you need to navigate using your Visual Studio code. If you don't know how to do that, there's going to be a video in the description on the previous version in which you can watch how to navigate through it. The directory in which your bot files is hosted is known as WinMev Extractor. That's the name. So the set me file is the files in which you are going to set the parameters for your bot. So double click on the file and then it is going to open on your Visual Studio code. But I'm just using my Excel on my local computer to demonstrate this. So the settings parameters, this column A is the description or the name of the settings. The input is where you are going to set the parameters. And the option description is the description of the input. So the quote currency address is going to be the currency you want to keep as a quote currency, which other currencies is going to pair with. In our case, this is the address of WETH. And you are going to input the decimal of WETH. WETH has 18 decimals, so you have to input it here as well as the symbol of the code currency. The code currency is going to be the currency in which we are going to deposit into our smart contract so that our boss can use it to execute trade. You can use USDC as well as USDT. But WETH has a lot of pairs in Arbitrum network, so it is recommended to go with WETH. The automatic volume is a section in which you select if you want your bot to automatically calculate the trade volume based on price impact. If you set it to yes, it means your bot is going to calculate the automatic starting amount, which is the trade volume based on the price impact that you specified here. But if your balance in your smart contract is not up to the trade volume, then your bot is going to utilize all the balance in your smart contract and execute the arbitrage and then return back the profit. Then if you set the automatic trade volume to no, then you will need to manually impute your trade volume. Then the trade volume is going to be in the quote currency because the quote currency is going to be the currency that we are going to deposit inside our smart contract. So in my case, the automatic volume is set to yes, so I can ignore the trade volume and leave it to any number. The minimum profit tolerance is the minimum profit that you are willing to tolerate if your bots execute trade. If the profit is not up to the amount you specified here, your bot is going to ignore the arbitrage. Remember, the minimum profit tolerance is also going to be in the value of the quote currency. The max gas tolerance is the maximum gas fee that you are willing to pay for each transaction. So I am going to deploy a smart contract for you that is specifically owned by you using your wallet address as the owner of that contract. The blockchain is open, so you will need a specific ID to authorize your smart contract to execute arbitrage so that someone cannot just go and call your smart contract and execute arbitrage on your behalf. So after deploying your smart contract, there's going to be a unique ID generated. So that is the contract ID and you will need to paste it here so that Anytime your bot is calling the smart contract, it is going to verify that it is actually the owner, which is going to be the contract ID that is calling the smart contract. In that case, no one can call your smart contract and execute arbitrage. So the Telegram ID is where you are going to set your Telegram ID. So just input your Telegram ID here. Remember, the format is going to be the ID of that Telegram, comma, and the ID. Note, this Telegram ID should only be a single user ID or any admin you want to add into your Telegram bot. Also note that this Telegram ID is not a Telegram username. It is a unique ID specifically assigned to each users of Telegram. The Telegram bot API key is where you are going to impute your API key. The RPC WebSocket URL and RPC HTTP URL is your local Arbitrum node RPC URL. So you have to leave it by default since we are going to be running Arbitrum node inside our server. The owner address is going to be your address. And it is only the owner of the smart contract that can initiate withdrawal from the smart contract. And the owner private key is going to be your own private key. So just impute all here and when you are done,
click on save. After setting up your parameters, navigate to the directory in your server in your Visual Studio code. If you don't know how to navigate to the directory, there's going to be a link in the description of the previous version. Watch that video to understand how to navigate within your directory on your server. Now, after navigating to the directory, if you type ls, you are going to see all the files in that directory. Now, the bot.py file is going to be the file that you are going to run to start running your bot. But we are going to be running this bot using PM2. But at the moment, since our bot does not have any cryptocurrency in it, we need to run it first this way and then give it cryptocurrencies to arbitrage. To run your bot, you are going to type Python 3 in your Linux server. Since I am on my local Windows computer, I'm just going to type Python without the 3 and then bot.py and then click on enter. Then you are going to see a screen like this. Once you see a screen like this, it means your bot is perfectly running. Now you have to navigate to your Telegram bot. When you get to your Telegram bot, click on start or slash start and then send it. Then you are going to have this message right here. So once you have this message, your bot is successfully running. Now what you are going to do is that you can click on help to view the basic command. So if I click on help, you are going to see the available command like this is to view the supported exchanges to download the past trade history as well as download error history. Now, if you click on contract, it is going to show your contract address. But take note, do not send ETH to this contract address because ETH is not a token. It is also going to alert you here. So this is the contract address, which is your DEX arbitrage bot smart contract address deployed on Arbitrum specifically for you. You can see other commands you can send, like to view your contract balance of other token address. You can also send this command to withdraw all of your quote currency balance. And you can send this to withdraw a specific token into a specific wallet. Take note that it is only the owner of this contract that can initiate withdrawal from this interface. And it is only admin of this Telegram bot, which is the admin ID that you added into your bot that can trigger those functions or these commands. So take note to always add trusted admin into your arbitrage bot. So to deposit funds into your smart contract, you will need to send WETH or any of your quote currency into this smart contract address. Take note not to send ETH because you won't be able to withdraw ETH. So if you click on balance, you are going to see your quote currency balance. Currently, I have 0.16 WETH inside my smart contract. So that's where you fill your contract. And to withdraw your contract, you just have to send withdraw all or withdraw. Withdraw all will withdraw all the funds in your smart contract. Now, if you click on this command that says view tokens, this app token that says view all your added tokens, you see it is going to output that you have no token. So now let's add tokens to our bot so that our bot can arbitrage those tokens within different exchanges. To do this, you have to navigate to abyscan.io. So when you get to abyscan.io, click on tokens and click on ERC20 top tokens. Now you can see the available token that has a higher trading volume in Arbitrum network. So what you just have to do is to go one by one and click on it and then copy the contract address. Open a TXT file, which is text file on your local computer. Then paste it and then put comma, then enter. Then navigate to another token. You can click on any token you want to add. Once you click on it, just copy the contract address. Then navigate to your TXT file and then paste it again. Remember to put a comma. Then do the same thing with all the tokens that you want to add to your trading board. I'm going to click on this. Copy the contract address. And then paste it here. Then remember at the end, do not put a comma. If you put a comma, it is going to output error. 
So now when you are done pasting on your text file, just copy it and then paste it on your Telegram bot. Navigate to your Telegram bot, paste it and then send it. Now it is going to show that I have successfully added three tokens to my trading robot. Now if you click on Abit token again, you are going to see a list of the three token with the contract address as well as the exchange that it is listed on. So now what we have to do next is that after adding all the tokens that you wish to add, you can add any of your favorite token, you can add as much as you want. You have to navigate back to your bot on your server. And then click on Ctrl C or Command C to stop. You can also click on this button to kill the terminal. Then now use PM2 to run your bot file. This is exactly how you can run your Dex arbitrage bot. If this video seems complicated to you, click on the link on the description to watch the installation guide for the first version because the installation guide serve as the basics and this one serve as the advanced tutorial on how to install this trading bot. If you have any question, feel free to contact me on Discord. There's going to be a link here. You can also WhatsApp me on the phone number on your screen. See you in the next video.